It's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy to find out about fun guy. Then you could do us to give this guy a try. Oh, you who? Hey, listen. Today's an interesting one. It's got all the ingredients for either top end brilliant success or bottoming out failure. It's a proper adventure. A tip basically going looking for truffles. Only I bumped into a guy at a party and we got to talk about mushrooms. Because what else are we going to talk about? So you've got a slippy face or something? His sunglasses keep sliding down his nose and he keeps pushing on back. And it turns out this guy who's not necessarily a mushroom hunter has found truffles the size of my fist. And number two, that's the that's one staggering fact, number two, it's in the north of England, up my way. And I'm like, you, mate, you have got to tell me this space. Just let me have a look. I won't take them all, I promise. So he's giving me a tip off. I'm on holiday nearby. So I'm dragging the family, and I mean dragging. No one wants to come. My truffle aren't with me. But I do. Me and my tripod do. So join me on this story, this adventure is like pirate treasures, drop me maps and little doodle diagrams to try and find them 50 paces from a gate. Oh, let's try and see if we can find the truffles. See you in a bit. Did you see how many times he had to push his glasses back up his face? I oh, know. Leave it with me. R just a quick update, we're on the right track and I'm excited because I didn't want to get lost in maps with the grumpy family. So I'm excited because we're on the right track. Okay, we've just gone up a level because it's now official. We found the right spot, we think. It's now, according to Doodles, 50 paces from here. So I'm obviously very giddy. I'm gonna get a little map out, work out which direction 50 paces, and we'll see you in 50 paces time. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus five, plus six. Do my first excavation. Uh, a lot of beach cobs. I forgot to bring a knife, so I'm using a stick. Uh. <laughs> Go out the line. Listen, I've just had to ring the guy. I've given it 10 minutes good good battling. I've had a good scratch around, really can't see much. I'm like, oh, I'd better just check my 50 paces is accurate. And he said to ring him, I've rung the guy. And he says, get me on FaceTime. We've found the road the right path. He said, no, that's where you want to be looking. As I'm looking at the earth, and he says, yeah, anywhere around there. Digby's son number one says, Dad here. And we spotted our first, our first truffle. And it's the size of a bubbin windowsill. Look at that. Look at that thing sticking out there. That is absolutely... I'm, 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 I knew that I might see a truffle today, but that is outrageous. I mean, outrageous. And that we've not even started looking. That's the first thing we've found. I'll see... Oh, we better excavate this, haven't we, together? Right, camera on. You ready, Nick? Uh, yeah. Just come back and watch the whole thing happen, I think. That's it. Oh, my word. Well, there's a start. Are we off? Yep. There's a start. So I'll pass that out to son number two. Dig me, pull back, and I'll try and excavate this one. God, it's <laughs> All right, get oh. back, get back, get back. It's an absolute monster. Oh. oh, my word. What the heck is that? What is that? I don't know if I have words for that. That's a truffle! The summer truffle, people. The summer truffle. I'm, I'm salivating, and I don't know what with. Just a couple more. We're starting to find them now. Here, have a look. Just in the bare earth, look. I've not, I've not all I've done is brush away the leaf litter and they're here. They're just showing themselves. And another one here. Just something else for them to be. Here's another. <laughs> Hold on it, can you see it? Yeah. So I reckon that, yeah, let's do this live together. If I just brush a bit of leaf litter away. Is it gonna is it gonna comply for the cameras? Um, back to me. Never work with dogs, children, or truffles. No, nothing, no big reveal there. Oh there's one. There you go. There's another. Boink. Superb, absolutely superb. 
can't begin to tell you. I was going to do it. I, this, this is not beginner's guide, is it? I can hardly begin to identify these, but it's growing. Let's first of all talk about association. It's host tree here are these beautiful beech trees. Often young beech, I think, as well. Is he right about that? Are you right about that? I don't know if I'm right about that. I'm going to be making up facts because I haven't got much to say. I don't often truffle hunt. I'm usually with someone who knows more than me. Here I am alone with a family that have picked up a bit now, now that we've found them. You usually need chalky soils, which we get more in the southern areas, Devon and Cornwall and the likes. So for to be up here, I'd have to look and investigate, is this the right soil conditions? Um, the one, I, I've not smelt it ever. Where's the whopper? Ah, look at this. Found um, found one here. That, oh, in fact, the uh, slugs are peering out of it now, look. I'll, I'll just oh. pull you out for a bit because I'd like to share this. Um, no real smell on the outside, but where it's been attacked and eaten, a really rich aroma. Ah, gosh, it's unique. Can't describe what truffle smells like. For me, it's like a really rich, maybe I'm just picturing omelettes, but a rich, eggy smell, but yeah, beautiful. It's usually gassy, petrolly almost truffle smell, but it's very hard to describe. It just puts people off wonder what truffle means, but yeah, it's there and that's in an eaten one. Mr. Slug was enjoying that one. Ali, can you talk about how they're normally found underground and require digging out? These are on the surface and that's quite an unusual phenomenon. It's very hard for me to speak much about truffles because I don't really know very much about them. Again, it's off radar, literally, because they're subterranean. It's a, an underground growing fungus and they grow in association with trees. In this case, it's with the beech trees, uh, mycorrhizal, and uh, they are highly prized because they're a beautiful edible. Uh, and they have this incredible warty exterior, this black water. This is the English summer truffle, okay? The Pairmont, those white ones, that's usually French and over the other way, over the uh, on the continent there. Uh, for them to be exposed in the surface like this, it's just bonkers and it's just what a beautiful thing to see. Uh, when you cut inside you get this incredible beautiful marbling, which I'll do a little close up of later on because it just looks special. Um, yeah, and that's as much as I know really, genuinely, I don't have much to say. It's just, just supposed to be a little video of me and a family going on a little treasure hunt. Again, the treasure! The summer truffle people. <laughs> We've got to do the thing, how much is this way? I mean, it's solid, there's, there's no, um, there's all the resistance, you know, it's not giving in, it's not soft. It's, uh, 264 grams. Oh, come on then, get your pounds out. I reckon he's way off. He exaggerates. I'm eating an apple, that's a bad idea. Weighing the truffle. Oh, oh get back on there. What did I say? Something like that one, too. 260 or something. A quarter of a kilo, thank you. Yay, we get it shut to our land it over. the glasses. Did he keep pushing them up? Enough to make a mini compilation. You want to see it? Big time. Here we go. 